everybody, it's Clint Arthur, and I am joined here via Skype with Magic Messenger superstar Vivian Gaspar. And Vivian, thank you so much for being here. How did, why don't you tell the people how we met and when we met? We actually met for the first time in 2011 uh, at the National Public City Summit in New York City. Uh, you were, uh, I was there as a participant. I think the class is limited to a uh, hundred people. I could tell you that since between 2011 to when I attended a celebrity launch pad in 2015, uh, the amount of response that I got between the two completely different concepts of getting to celebrity hands down unequivocally the Clint Author Program of Celebrity Launchpad is by and far much more productive as the outcome of what it gained, what I gained from it. And the reason I could say that is um, this is business. Ultimately, we're looking to monetize. Unless you're, um, you know, a very egotistical person, this is not a hobby. <laughs> right. I mean, this, we're doing this to make money. This is ultimately our careers, just like for myself. And what's really important is. I saw the outcome financially. So I know where my return on investment lays and where it had absolutely laid with is Clint has program. What I could say is far better is first of all, Clint doesn't leave any nuance to chance. When you left wondering, well, how do I position my hand or how do I wear my hair or what do I wear? The other programs wasn't going to go to that level of detail and it's, um, well, obviously the devil's always going to be in the detail. When you don't have an answer to something because you don't have someone to work with individually ongoing in the future, because when you do a workshop, it's not the one and done. And how do I continue? That's not a valuable uh, proposition. What's valuable is when you have Clint, you don't just attend a four and a half day intensive workshop, the celebrity launch pad. And by the way, these days are not an eight hour day. We're talking at least uh, 11 to 13 hour days. And obviously Clint and Ali not just put a lot of thought into it, but it's very, very clear how much hard work goes on behind the scenes, not just representative at approximately 40, 42 hours of that four and a half days uh, cumulatively. But what goes on before and after? My Celebrity Launchpad was February 25th through March 1st. And I could tell you that I attended the two or have been attending the roughly two-hour uh, webinars, which are held every single week, usually on Wednesdays. Sometimes there's a little difference in, you know, scheduling is. But I could tell you something. I have at least 80 to 85% of the time have attended the ongoing webinars. And I started the October prior to my Celebrity Launchpad to learn and prepare. And I'm still doing it well a year later. Today is March 26th, 2016. March 4th, I just did my ninth television appearance. And yes, this is something I've attended solely on my own. I was not introduced by Clint because Clint taught us how to do it afterward. So you don't just get the introductions through Clint and Allie at the actual Celebrity Launchpad. He also trains us ongoing how to get more above and beyond for yourself. Yeah, because so, Launchpad, Launchpad is just you're launched as a celebrity. It's not supposed yeah. to be the be-all, end-all. Now, for, you know, for some people, I, you know, that's all they do. But the smart ones keep going. The smart ones take it to the next step, which is, all right, great. Now I've been on TV, and so it's easier for me to get on more TV. So you recently did an appearance that you booked off of a cold call using my system and methodology. Tell us about that and how that's put money in your pocket. I live in New Jersey, and I uh, work for an attorney for a New Jersey-based attorney, so I needed to get clients locally. That's how I need to monetize. It became far easier to get television local because I've done the television stations or interviews through Clint's program back a year ago because then we flew around the country. We did NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox. I did the ones in Albuquerque, Tucson, uh, Reno, and Las Vegas. But because we did those networks throughout the country, it gives the level of credibility to simply Wow, we established that I have the experience and the credibility after having those 
done those from the launch pad uh, last April. That's when I did most of those appearances. And I did uh, three in Albuquerque in July. Uh, but when I approached the station in February and they booked me for a taping uh, March 3rd, it just became they were comfortable about my experience, how I could perform because they saw my clips on my website. So they're able to view me as the producers and the assistant producer and the executive producer. So they were comfortable about how I would perform and they liked my material. And by the way, of course, I sent them the segment proposals that Clint taught us how to do. Segment proposal, again, everything with Clint is down to the nuance. No stone, no question left unturned because he gets high level details. So you're completely comfortable going forward. And what I love about the ongoing webinars and the support is obviously questions will arise, you know, because he doesn't teach you just to do only one particular area of expertise and subject. You can evolve and learn how to do other areas of expertise. So when I first did my first series of television interviews, I did identity theft avoidance. And then now I'm doing my area of expertise, which I've been working on since 2008 primarily, which is mortgage modification and foreclosure avoidance. That is how I get paid for a living. So I did the interview on a cable network in New Jersey because in New Jersey, we don't have ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox in Northern New Jersey. We're sandwiched between New York City and Philadelphia. But obviously I'm looking for New Jersey clients. But this ME station, it's a cable network that actually airs in five states. So I had received about eight or nine responses and of those, in the last 48 hours alone, I received two paying clients. Now, in my world, that makes it by, uh, far and wide extremely worth it. And I know that I'll be able to get on other shows. And two weeks ago, I cold called another uh, 15 stations around here. So that's why Celebrity Launchpad, Clint Arthur, and of course, Ali make this completely a profitable uh, proposition. It's not just worthwhile. It is extremely profitable into one's career. Okay, great. And let's talk about the personal impact. How do you feel like, do you feel like you're the same person that you were a year ago when you started this whole thing? I definitely believe that it raises your self-esteem because if you're able to accomplish things that such a tiny fragment of the population even has the uh, the the confidence to do. There's so many slang words for it, the gumption, the, the you know, the, the, whatever you want to call it. But because there's such a few select group of us who have the audacity and the bravery uh, to go on television as a guest, and people don't realize this is a skill. You must learn how to do this and do it well. And that's what I love is that Clint helps us cultivate this skill and teaches us the, the little ways, the big ways and with the ongoing uh, reviews. So when I just did my segment, uh, it the taped on the 3rd. It aired on the 12th and 13th of March. The next, very next Wednesday after it aired, I was allowed to show my segment. And Clint wonderfully air, uh, reviewed it and helped me with the pluses and the minuses. And what I love about Clint is you're always afraid a coach is going to tear you apart, everything you did wrong. No, Clint says the good and the bad. And it's not bad in a tear you apart way, like people sometimes get afraid of. No, it's very complimentary, but always points out, now you need to tweak this and do this a little better, but you did these things well too. So Clint says it in a very uplifting way, the way the criticism is given, it's a very positive and, um, like I said, uplifting and reassuring way. So it's, it's nothing negative. It doesn't make you feel bad. I was really looking forward to Clint's review because I knew it just helped me going forward because of course after you get off the set time flies while you're on the set you get a little nervous I think even Clint admits after 65 appearances he's still nervous he actually has a little song about that he tells us about and one of the things I really truly love the most about Celebrity Launchpad and Clint is that he acknowledges and uh, has us attack our fears head on with the who am I-itis the who am I-itis is very, very important to attack. And that is where it's helped me because I think all of us to some degree have issues once in a while with self-esteem. Am I good enough to do anything? 
to even talk to these people that we perceive are so high on the social status of being these TV producers. And Clint brings it to us on the other perspective that once we've done this, we realize that, wow, we are someone who deserves this because we've been taught how to do it. So you carry yourself differently and you approach things differently. And I do a lot of public speaking in addition to it. I really enjoy educating the public and people in power like realtors, attorneys, and so forth in New Jersey on my area of expertise of helping people not lose their home to foreclosure. And I've gotten so many compliments on my speaking engagements. Just eight days ago, I spoke in front of 200 people, and I think I got at least 30 people coming up to me afterwards complimenting me. You know, if somebody doesn't have something nice to say, they just don't say it. 30 people aren't going to come up to you to compliment you just for the hell of it. And I do believe that um, skill was greatly benefited from the appearance on TV that was all made possible by Clinton Celebrity Launchpad because nothing raises your self-esteem than having been on the set and you have your clips and you're able to show people these large-scale concepts of NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, it just does so much for your self-esteem, but especially as a professional who cultivates yourself as your own brand. When I first met you, it was about almost five years ago, four yes. and a half years ago. You've gotten a lot better looking. How has TV changed <laughs> your physical appearance? It's, it's real. I mean, seriously. Well, and I did age, too. I'm not a vampire. I'm not going backwards. Right. <laughs> well, honestly... Um, I've lost a good amount of weight. In the last six years, I lost 62 pounds. But part of that is, especially obviously in the last year, you know, you're trying to do better, lose a little bit more. But it really helps me hold my uh, feet to the fire. I look at it myself. Look, I know I'm going to do more TV. I know uh, that I need to treat being on TV as an addiction because doing more and more TV does nothing but elevate who I am, my status in regards to Let's face it, everyone needs to make more money. I am self-employed like the rest of us who do this. And the reason that's important is people who have a higher level of status get paid more. This is our business. But and why does it help me feel like I, or like you said, I look better? Let's face it, usually people look better when they're thinner. And why is that important? Uh, how has TV impacted that? I think that it helps me be more enthusiastic and more focused on losing weight when I know that in front of a camera, I want to look that much better. So if I wasn't going to continue to do television appearances on a regular basis, I wouldn't care as much. I wouldn't care that much about taking the tips about whitening our teeth. I wouldn't care as much about, eh, I'll split that dessert with someone else. I wouldn't care about, let me push myself to walk up the stairs uh, instead of taking the elevator every time. I just wouldn't care as much as knowing the fact that I can get called from the producers I already have my segment proposal out to at any time, and how do I want to look when I'm on those appearances? That's, I think, the simple reason why. You care more because you want to do better knowing that you've already experienced it, and you want to experience it to a higher and higher level. And by the way, the other benefit to the weekly webinars is you're seeing, obviously, the other magic messengers and what their outcome has been and how they're doing better. And it encourages myself and, obviously, the, others, uh, the other Celebrity Launchpad graduates, which are magic messengers, to accrue the kind of a success that our fellow magic messengers, who are maybe a few steps ahead of us, maybe they graduated sooner, maybe their life circumstances allow them to do more, to obviously encourage us, myself, to want to do more and more and more. And of course, Clint, having done 65, but I've seen how... 67. I apologize, 67. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, I want to be more like Clint. I want to be more like Matt, Dr. Mario, like uh, Joyce Joy, who, by the way, was in my class, and she's done, I think, over 28 shows. You know, everybody has different lives and different situations, but it encourages me to want to do more and be better because I see what they're doing on the weekly webinars. I see their success. And I've heard people like Sandy Masori being able to monetize it more and how Dr. Mario is, and it encourages me. And that's the other huge benefit of the weekly webinars, which is one of the most valuable aspects to the, uh, being a Celebrity Launchpad participant. Awesome. Now, I know you're busy, so we're going to have to wrap this up. 
but I want to I want you to talk about how like look it it took me years to get you to show up at Launchpad years of of pursuing you and encouraging you to step up your life like this. What do you what do you have to say to the person who feels like they're not ready or they don't have the money to do it right now or they don't have the time to do it right now or they're overwhelmed right now and they can't fit it in. What do you have to say to all those people who are for whatever reason saying oh, I'm not I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to do it sometime in the future. The most common obstacles are going to be time and money. First of all, there's nothing that elevates your income more than to create yourself a level of st uh, celebrity status. So that helps you ultimately c accomplish your goal of getting more money. And you make the time because that's your business. You need to create the, the energy and the momentum by pushing through and just getting it accomplished. I recently read that the one attribute successful self-made millionaires do not have than everyone else has that keeps them back which is procrastination. Overcome the procrastination because truly successful people don't do it. They don't procrastinate. So once you push through the procrastination, you will achieve levels of success. And by the way, at the time that I committed, I didn't have you know all the money for the uh, cost of celebrity launch pads to the ground. I found it. I made a way to make it happen. You find it, you take out loans, you do what you have to do because then you see the return on investment afterwards. When you know that you're going to achieve the success and it's a stepping stone, why do people go to college? Why do people go to any self-improvement class, which is what this is? It's not free. This is a business. But when you know that you're going to see the return on investment, you need to invest on yourself if you're serious about you as a brand, knowing that why are there so many other people in your occupation out there? Why do you, achieve more, why do you deserve to achieve more success than them? Because you have to remember you are the brand. People don't buy the, what you're selling because you're selling it. They're buying you. You have to remember it is your status that they are seeking. Do you know the people, the two people that just became paying clients in the last 48 hours for me? The two things that they said that the other clients that I had this week did not say is that I am trustworthy. They trust me. That is what they accomplished from seeing me and my passion on television is it came through. And that comes through as making them feel safer and closer to me as a trustworthy person because I am helping them save their home from foreclosure or whatever I was doing, what other magic messengers are doing. By being on television and the person seeing you, you're automatically coming through as someone they can trust. And that is what they're buying. Great point. I mean, I, I show a statistic about how 81% of the people who are between 35 and 64 years old trust what they see on local TV news and talk shows. So that's a great point. But I want to compliment you on that last appearance. You just really displayed so much knowledge and passion and enthusiasm for your topic and the way you really controlled that segment as a result of having done all the previous appearances you were really able to come off as a real knowledgeable and trustworthy and passionate and enthusiastic expert. And that's what people are really looking for. So congratulations on your success. Congratulations on the transformation that I and the other Magic Messengers are getting to watch happen for you. And I look forward to much more continued success for you, Vivian Gaspar. Hey, tell the people, anybody needing a mortgage modification or advice on how to save their home for foreclosure, how do they find out more about you? My website also has all my contact information. It is stopmycrisis.com and also has my great two books, which is the Stop My Crisis series. Awesome. Thank you very much for everything, Clint. You and Allie have really changed my life so much, and obviously that helps me change the lives of others. Every week, to help myself get more accomplished, I use a dry erase mini board. And I have about 10 or 15 things that I know are my goals to accomplish the week. And on there is read and reinforce to myself my celebrity launchpad book daily. Okay, so for those, for those of you who haven't seen or haven't been to, to Launchpad yet, at Celebrity Launchpad, we give you a book to take notes in. And... 
I encourage you, like it's got all kinds of notes that I've already put into it, but I encourage you to just take notes and try to fill up that whole book at your Celebrity Launchpad so that you can really relive the experience of your Celebrity Launchpad when you're out in the field doing your media tour. But this is the first time I've, I've heard a person say that they're reading it every day or every week. Why are you doing that? Well, one thing that jumps out at me, Clint, is I don't know if you remember this, but the one thing you reinforce frequently is a page in there. Actually, I think it's several pages says you are worth it. Yeah. And that does help, especially someone like myself who's a public figure. In the last seven months alone, I keep track. I do two to three, sometimes four or five speaking engagements a week. And I tell you, I've spoken in front of 900 people in the last seven months. And it's sometimes really helpful to read that you are worth it and to smile and all the other things. And you know what? I remember at my Celebrity Launchpad, I was a third most booked person, not first or second, but the third most booked person out of 12. I am not a doctor. I beat out about six people who have doctorates. And what I can tell you is I could not believe how many people liked me. And Clint called me Sally Field. I thought that was in, uh, very interesting because he said that when Sally Field accepted an award, she said, they like me. They really like me. And he said, Vivian, you're Sally Field. And now I've learned that. And it's one of the points that really helps me is everyone has those moments. And rereading the Celebrity Launchpad book helps me because it's in there. Smile and you are worth it. And these are words that Clint helps you remember, especially when it comes to the who am I-itis.